Good morning. Please accept my warm, warmest welcome to Doha. I know some of you, this is your first visit to Qatar, and it's good you're coming in these two days because our weather is really gorgeous be, uh, because of the rain we had. It. I am delighted to be with you for the second Advancing Arab Women in Technology Leadership Workshop. The mission of creating Center for Women in Technology in the Middle East is very close to my heart. Information and communication technologies serve as undeniable equalizer for women and can empower them to take control of their future. We all recognize that ICT fosters education, promotes workforce development, and encourages entrepreneurs among women. It's important to me because as a professional woman and as a mother of two young uh, Years. I will not say anything more about that. <laughs> I know it's vital that women are prepared to lead in all aspects of society with equality, education, equal access to opportunities, and hard work. There is nothing a woman cannot do. From leading companies to leading countries, everything becomes possible. We are fortunate to be living now in a time when women have far more rights. We have many inspirational women leaders to challenge us to dream big and, and drive change. But for too many women, their dreams still seem impossible. ICT can and I believe will change that. To a greater degree, almost every day ICT empowers us, it enables us, it connects us to one another, to government and to media. It connects us to social courses, to universities, to business worldwide. Because of, ICD, of ICT, women can actively participate in every sphere of life, if we choose. And we should provide this uh, choice for them. Because of ICT, we can change our countries and the world if we choose to do that. And indeed, all of us in this room believe that women must choose to be part. We need to play an active role in shaping our region's economic, social, and political future. This means that girls and women must strive to obtain the skills and knowledge necessary for leaderships in all sectors of knowledge economy. And I hope more women explore careers in ICT. How can we expect women to benefit from technology when there are so few of us who are making a decision. We need to be a policy makers, regulators, and system developers. We need to be sure our voices are not just heard, but listened to. We in ICT Qatar are very involved in the major education reform in this country. We are finding ways for students, parents, and teachers to be more connected connected and introducing pioneering program in our schools that allow students, girl and boy, to excel in new ways. So we are not discriminating against uh, boy and this. We give boys and girls equal access and equal opportunities to succeed. Education goes beyond the classroom wall. Though. Another priority for ICT Qatar is to promote the e-literacy among women, especially those not working. We deepen computer professionality through ICDL. It's the world's largest suppliers of computer skill certification. Last year, we provided training for over than for over 500 non-working women, and in our society, this number is a huge number. We also know it's important for women to have the confidence to start their own business and have the tool to succeed. ICT Qatar is working close, uh, closely with a small and medium-sized business across the country to help them realize the value of incorporating ICT in their business. I am encouraged by the growing number of women leading uh, this business here in Qatar and fully expect the numbers to, be, uh, to grow more. At ICT Qatar, we are, work, we are working to connect women to technologies that will empower their life and inspire confidence in their future. I'm proud of ICT Qatar's accomplishment far and so far, and I am committed to do even more 
to help women in this country experience the power of technology. We look forward to working with the Center of Women and Technology in the Arab world to advance our goals. The center will be a beacon for light for all women in the region. It provides hope, it certainly will provide an opportunity. And most importantly, it will help women in the region determine their future. Technology is breaking down barriers and women are eagerly jumping through the new open doors. I would like to, f to finish this by a say from Mahatma Gandhi. He said, we must be the change we wish to see. You are the change that all women wish to see. You will make the world an even better place for women. Thank you for uh, making this a reality.